Hello guys and welcome to another log of Jellymon Dim and for today's log we have Tropiamon yeah and we've seen Tropiamon before and it's nice to see him again but before we continue with today's log I just have to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets you've come to the right channel because this channel focuses on raising Digimon and I upload at least twice a week so if you like such content Go ahead and shoot some Tropia's Poison Spores at the like and subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Alright, let's get down to Tropia Mon's log. But as you can see, I'm increasing his vitals. Yeah, we have so many awesome items from the adventure mode. I really like how they have changed things up so much that it's so easy to raise vitals now. It used to be a chore, so I really have to wear a vital bracelet the entire day and at the end of the day, I barely got like 3,000 vitals and sometimes I don't even know if I can actually evolve because there's not enough vitals but depending, especially if you're an office worker, sometimes you hardly get to move around uh, but now, through the adventure mode, you can just raise vitals so easily um, if you're disciplined enough to actually just log in to do that adventure mode once a day it's more than enough. Anyway, Tropiamon. It's not the first time we're seeing him. Um, in fact, uh, he was the titular Digimon in the other day where he first appeared in, I think it was Jungle. I uh, can't remember what's the, what's the name of that uh, dimmer. I think it's the one that's paired up with New Metal Empire. It was something jungle, but basically it's a jungle themed uh, dim back in the old Vital Bracelet series. And that was one of the better designed one in the older series as well. As you can see, the sprite quality is very good. Before I continue with uh, commenting on the sprite quality, we can do that on the bracelet. When we see it in action on the bracelet, uh, let's look at its profile. And it is a vegetation Digimon living in the deepest jungles. Propiamon is thought to have taken in data of various fruits and vegetation to digivolve into its splendid appearance. Its intense body odor is like a mix of all kinds of fruits and is strong enough to cause an uninitiated the uninitiated to pass out. The droplets secreted from his leaves that act as wings are toxic enough to melt iron. Tropiamon uses his special move Petally Carnage to launch a mass of explosive pollen from the petals on its neck. It also uses Tropical Venom to breathe gas from its mouth. This is an intense poison fermented within its body that melts anyone who inhales it from the inside out. Very morbid, very sinister and it was actually featured in Ghost Game. So it did appear in the Ghost Game anime and yeah, it was really poisonous and toxic. I'm not going to spoil the show for you if you haven't watched it. It was quite cool when he appeared and yeah, morbid is a word. Uh, if you think about it, it's very similar to Meganium um, from Pokemon <laughs> um, except it is the most intimidating and <laughs> sinister looking version of uh, Meganium for those who are familiar with that Pokemon yeah um, it's a it's a floral dinosaur looking monster and definitely something you don't want to mess with um, Oh, it's a little too scary to own as well. But yeah, we have raised Tropiamon. It's nice to see him again. And it's nice to see him on the bracelet. Let's see him on the bracelet as well. And sending him to the bracelet. Tropiamon. See ya. Ah. Taking so long to load, but yeah, it's because he was in the ghost game anyway, that's why he's in the Jellymon Dim. So, quite nice to see you again. This part is cool. 
Hello, Torpiamon on the bracelet. As you can see, his sprite quality is awesome. For a sprite that was in the older bracelet generation, I think this is one of the better design ones. Super detailed, you can tell. It looks like it belongs to the BE memory sprite quality. Um, the generation of the BE memory sprites. But yeah, they did they did they did well on that one. I think almost all of the sprite designs in that dim was very well designed as well. So I wonder if they're done by the same artist. Uh, you know, compared to those that were poor in quality, uh, versus those that were really good. This background is very appropriate for Toropiamon as well. He's sleeping now, but yeah, um, uh, because <laughs> you gotta watch the anime. But basically, he 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 met manifested in a shopping mall and that's why I think it's extremely appropriate haha <laughs> and let's see it's trading animation but yeah I wonder if some of the even in the older Vital Bracer series they were done by different artists probably is explain that could explain the difference in sprite quality across different dims that's him training well very heavy dumbbells you got there, Torupia one. But you look huge in the anime, so I'm not surprised. Uh, probably very big and very strong. Dash animation, well, look at it. It looks good. When it's running, it looks good as well. Oh, there's a, it looks like there's a lot going on and they managed to capture it still. So I think it's good. Good job, well done there. Um, let's see, it's battle animation. Oh yes, and you might have noticed, why am I using just the normal vital bracelet that I have? Unfortunately, my special selection bracelet with the gold Botamon uh, logo, you know, the one that's from the Volcanic Blaze and the um, Rampage of the Beast set. The button started to break on me. I'm so surprised. I used it for barely a few months and it's yeah, it's fragile. It's fragile. I'm so surprised that it's so fragile. So the button started to go like I was unable to press the button. I I, I could press the button but I I couldn't feel that rebound, you know, you're supposed to feel that rebound. Um, where it goes back, that is a spring behind the button, sorry, I think that's the right word. Oh yes, Toropia wants mega attack. Boom, some poisonous green wind. And we missed, but it's okay. Yay, he might actually lose his battle. But it's fine, it's for the sake of documentation anyway. Um, oh, Fenruga wants to the rescue. And yeah, we won the battle, good job there. But yeah, sadly, the button was it was still responding but I could feel that the spring is not really there anymore so just to not take the risk of having my Digimon stuck in the bracelet where the button doesn't work I transferred all of them out and I decided to go back to using my black vital bracelet I had to switch the straps again because I did change the straps to the Lugamon strap and it's just too loud to wear it for normal usage so I switch it back to the normal vital bracelet black strap and so we have we are looking at the usual vital bracelet black that I was using before the special selection without the gold buttons oh man so sad I'm so surprised that you know these things don't really last so just I know this is a little lengthy for today's log but I I have always wondered why the when you check the time, when we try to change the time, um, it doesn't go beyond 33, you see? <laughs> you see, it, I can't even go to uh, 33, you see? It just goes to 32 and then it's just restarted. But I think even Bandai knows that this can't last for more than 10 years. <laughs> so uh, that's its time limit, guys. And clearly, this didn't, this didn't even last me 10 years. It lasted me a few months and the buttons really gave way maybe I don't, maybe it's because i've been using it so intensively uh raising every digimon in the be memory but well that is it 
um, you're back to using black. Hopefully this doesn't give away on me. I do need this to function longer. There are so many more dims or B memories coming our way. So we do need this to last, otherwise I have to buy a new one. It's gonna be such a hassle. But yeah, anyway, that's it for today's vlog. Sorry for the rant. And if you haven't already, please shoot some poison gas at the like and subscribe button on turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.